Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls, moms and dads. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. This is fifth grade mathematics week number 29 and day number four. All right, so we're going to be doing a few more calculations of speed and distance and time using the graph that we learned yesterday. All right, so if you go back to yesterday's notes in your workbook, you're going to see the graph that charts distance versus time. And now in today's lesson, they want us to go ahead and calculate the values of B and C. Well, and number B, they gave us the time to be equivalent to 4.75 hours or four hours and three quarters of an hour. And then they gave us the speed to be equivalent to 84.21 miles per hour. What is the distance? Well, distance is gonna be equivalent to speed multiplied by time. And that's exactly what we did over there. 4.75 multiplied by 84.21. You're welcome to use your calculator. That's gonna be 400 miles. 40. So you want to make sure you call this 400 miles, not meters, 400 miles. Well, they want us to go ahead and prove the value of C as well. Now to calculate C, we know that uh, C is going to have to it. Uh, to calculate C, which C is going to be distance, is currently unknown. Uh, the time over there is going to be equivalent to 15 hours, all right? And then the speed is going to be 53.33. Speed is 53.33 miles per hour. Now, what is the distance? Now, we know distance is going to be equivalent to speed multiplied by time, so that is going to be 53. Point three three multiplied by 15 hours. And then you're welcome to use your calculator to do that. All right, so that's going to be 53.33 multiplied by 15 hours. That's going to be equivalent to 799.95, approximately 800 miles. All right. So what you're going to do right now is you're going to take these answers and then go and validate the answers from your graph. You're going to see the graph on uh, page 202, week number 29 and day number three. You're going to see the graph over there. So you're going to validate this answers to see that C is actually going to be equivalent to about 800 miles. You're going to uh, go to the chart over there and look at 800 miles. Okay, what is the corresponding distance or the corresponding uh, corresponding time to it? And trace it over there, validate those answers with these calculations. All right. Did you get something from it? I sure hope so. Well, uh, remember, God cares about you, boys and girls. We love you guys so much. We care about you. And until next time, bye-bye. your hero's body and as you study with hero's born I will be your friend